Will Jack Fallow restaurant. Today we're going to watch Wait. a few of the, um, basically everyone always asks us, oh have you watched this cooking film, oh have you watched this, but to be quite honest I actually hate watching them, they always make me cringe. It's a bit of a busman's holiday there, do you not think? Yeah. Oh yeah, I've heard, yeah, all, I've, I've heard all about this one. It's meant to be, this Ooh. is meant to be the, the, um, the one to watch. Broken sausage. Unlock it. Opened up. <laughs> This is proper old school, Les. Real uh, POV, isn't it? It's like, uh, what's the restaurant called? Uh, French Laundry? Yeah, it looks like they got a blue apron, the low cut apron. Whoa, big dog, coming in. Oh no, sous chef. Why? Oh! I'm sorry, it got too hot. Why? It didn't Why? But it was my fault. Go. I've never, I've never worked with anyone like that. No, I mean, that's, I mean it's pretty... Um, Dead. I've never even seen anyone speak to anyone like that. Yeah, but any decent chef who actually cares about their restaurant is not going to want to talk about that because you're not going to get the best results out of something. It's... This, and that's where he went to and now this is where he is now at the moment. I like it. Not yeah, anymore. it's old school. You don't get like that by talking like, like that. Usually you actually find now, I'd say, that most kitchens that look like that are actually are the other complete opposite. Yeah, like, softly looks, spoken, looks, nice, It looks no exactly shaman. like, um, you know, like French Laundry, 11 Madison Park, Fat Duck, places like that. Which Most kitchens like that as well, they're open kitchens so you can see into them. So yeah, if you were like shouting like that to someone, the diners would be able to sense that. So it just wouldn't work. I don't think it's what people want to see about it, about a kitchen is people getting bollock is some taking it so seriously it's always like it's life or death the actual fact is like most kitchens are like that most we have a laugh I just don't see that as a, an appealing part about denied next unrealistic good content but unrealistic denied they want it to be cooked again no that's that's fine, it's supposed, it's pink, it's supposed I, to be pink. I did try and explain that to them, What's but the they problem? tell me what Did you explain it? It doesn't matter what you think so, well, necessarily the all the time. Do it to the best of your ability. Yeah, what's the problem? No, it's for the customer, they pay for it. They said it was too pink, the customer wasn't happy, that's what the problem was. I love how the head chef's just like not doing anything. Yeah, I know. Just in the background, just basting a few potatoes. Oh, great. Yeah, right. Stephen Graham, get out here. Because what keeps happening is place getting getting taken out because you're not fucking training your staff properly. Uh, see, it's never good to have, get like that on the pass. You've got to keep it calm, keep it chill. Stephen, see this is a thing, have you ever spoken to a front of house like that before? Do you realise how fucking stupid you are? She's the owner. She owns the place. This is again another like, but this is actually, it's hard to watch. I think that's actually, it's actually what a lot of people think, I think. I mean, there's a, there, I imagine there is probably kitchens like that. I mean, I think, no, there are kitchens like like this is like it's the, like a country pub. It's horrible. To, yeah, it's horrible to watch because it's like everything that you don't want to be. Like you've got an alcoholic head chef, you've got a s sort of scatty, mis like, miserable team. Everyone's, everyone's like arguing. doesn't want to be there. That's the main thing I think when you try to run a successful business, the staff have to want to be there. We don't have that issue here because it's just everyone's friendly. Everyone gets on. We we spend a lot of time all together. Everyone's socialising together. I think it's it's super super key for a successful restaurant or any hospitality business to us. We get comments on all of our food every now and then. You know, our burgers are, are well aged. Some people really don't understand that and really don't like it, which is absolutely fine. I think it's just about dealing with it in a smooth and calm way. Quite often food comes back and people panic. It's like, this has come back. Throws the rest of the service on. Yeah, and it's like, just chill out. What do they want? If yeah. people want their meat well done, like there's nothing you can really do about it as a chef. You know it's wrong. Like, but, you know it's not the best way to do it. You know it's not doing a favor to the animal, but at the end of the day, they're paying for it. You know, they're paying good money for it. They yeah. deserve to have it how they want. Food comes, food comes back like that. I think draw a line under it. Don't let it disrupt service. Focus on the tables after. Denied. Uh, Denied. Oh, 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 absolutely love this. It's an absolute banger. I'm cutting the vegetables. No, you waste energy and time. You think cooking is a cute job, eh? Like mommy in the kitchen. Well, mommy never had to face the dinner. I've seen that look before. Yeah. yeah. Always do something unexpected. No, follow the recipe. But Follow the recipe, chef. Every time, yeah. Every time. I love that kitchen. Oh, that's the sous chef right there. I killed a man with this thumb. I've never worked in a kitchen with a normal, like an another normal person. Every, every single person is either, I don't know, you get these like militant, rigid people who are really, really strict and organised, and you get these completely passionate people who are completely like. Oh, creative and they've got flair for it and it all kind of like mashes together. You don't actually, it's like one of those few professions where you don't actually need any qualifications to really do it. And everyone eats food, everyone can relate to it, everyone yeah. goes out to restaurants, everyone's had a, some sort of memory regarding, it might not be the same memory, but everyone has a memory regarding food, whether it's grandma's cooking, 
mum's Sunday roast, dad's fry up, whatever it may be. Um, and that's why you get so many different types of chef. Um, There's no right or wrong, it's cool. You, you meet some colourful characters that are coming up through sh some rubbish kitchens. You see every different walk of life, to be honest. It's good that's the, that's the only female chef who's actually competent, not splitting the sauce in the, in the three... In the three uh, she's an absolute boss in this film. Yeah, she's smashing it. She's doing great. I mean, it's... Uh, I love, like, the... Um, almost like that. That's, like, how kitchens like used to be and how they should be. I like it. It's kind of like what every young chef dreams of, I think. It's like copper pan. Does it really exist anymore? I'm sure it probably does somewhere in like rural France, but it's not something I've ever really These seen. Beautiful cooking sweets and stuff like that. It's all, yeah, yeah. you know, a bit sweltering hot in there and probably mm. really hard to clean. But my thing is, people always talk about, they want to see it like this live by the sword, die by the sword, hardest, like, it is, it is difficult. It's, you live fast, die young. You really need to love, you really need to love the job. Yeah. But, it's also fun. It's like, there's, there's little bits, yes. You have some really low points, but you have some massive highs as well. To be honest, that doesn't, none of these really talk about it, apart from gratitude. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Yeah, cheers. Thank you.